This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, the channel continues, even after Shark Week and a half, and then some, is done. And we're going to do it with an aggro deck. We're going to pull out the Ozolith. And we're going to play plus one, plus one counters, something that's often asked for. However, we're going to do it my way. And my way involves Winota, Joiner of Forces. So the plus one, plus one counter deck that people seem to want to exist is Ozolith, Swarm Shambler, Stone Coil Serpent, Conclave Mentor, Luminarch Aspirant, Bossy's Lieutenant, and other green creatures with a bunch of plus one plus one counters, maybe some gem raisers. That deck I find is lacking a punch, a breakthrough, a, a game ender, a, an unfair card to just go over the top. They can make big creatures, but can they win? Oftentimes they can't get past the combo the epic combo of a Luris of the Dream Den and a Merfolk frickin' Wind Robber. So, instead, we're going super wide and super tall with Winota, Joiner of Forces. Since several of the creatures that we want to play are humans, Luminarch Aspirant, Bossery's Lieutenant, and several are non-humans, Conclave Mentor, Swarm Shambler, Stone Coil Serpent, seems like a perfect home for Winota, and Winota is the only red card in the deck, so it's a pretty easy little splash. On top of that, we get Kenrith the Return King, who has some plus one plus one counter synergy. For one in a green, can put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. So that helps. And then we add some rampy mana fixie cards in Gilded Goose and Lotus Cobra, who can both help us play Winota quicker, and they provide bodies to trigger Winota. We could go further down the plus one plus one counter road by removing Gilded Goose and Lotus Cobra, and playing other cards that use plus one plus one counters. And I wouldn't be too mad if you did, but I'm not gonna do it. I think that these cards and their explosive ability add a ton to the deck. And if you're playing Winota on turn four and then attacking in this format, if you're on the draw, it's usually pretty bad as you're throwing your creatures right into Lovestruck Beasts and Heliods. If you're on the play, if you're on the play, it's really good. So the only way to break that serve is to be on the draw with some ramp. If you're on the draw with some ramp, maybe you can get your Winota going before the opponent develops that battlefield that makes you just throw your cards into the dumpster. We have some pathways in the deck. Of course, the Naya colored ones make sense, but what is this Bright Climb pathway and this River Glide pathway? You know the comments are going to ask. It's to activate Kenrith because I live in a dreamy fantasy world where I can do that. You don't need these. You can cut these. Replace them with forests. Replace them with plains. Because uh, actually green-white mana is the most important part. And then the red mana is kind of the afterthought. It, it seems to come along no matter what. So replace these with something else if you want to. It's fine. I'm doing it my way because I want to. Anyway, Gigantha, we don't really pay any cost for the Gigantha, everything we have is fits the requirement, and no regrets there. And only one copy of the Ozolith, because it's bad in multiples, but can be very good if we get enough plus one plus one counters moving around the battlefield. That's the deck. It attacks. I have three quests, all of them 750 gold each, and they're just piled up because I haven't been able to cast any, like, enough creature spells or attack with enough creatures in shark week and a half so today we're gonna knock that out with an aggro deck and it's gonna it's probably gonna take some work for me to get back in the spirit of attacking some quick notes on supporting the channel before we dive in and let nonsense begin First of all, Twitch Prime, it's a great time to renew Twitch Prime. I'm supposed to remind my awesome Prime Gaming folks once a month. So link below. Also a video if you want to know more. You get a Prime Gaming subscription for free if you have Amazon Prime in your household. To learn more, there's a cool video by somebody who's actually a subscriber of mine, Dusty. Uh, there's a link to it in the description. So check that out out can show you all you need to know about linking up with twitch prime and prime gaming and getting all kinds of free stuff including a free subscription on twitch to yours truly that supports the channel thank you to the over a thousand of you who already do that 
And then the other thing about supporting the channel is YouTube memberships. I'm, I haven't done much with YouTube memberships and I'm doing some experiments to see how it goes. And I've got some content on there right now. I've got some pack opening videos that uh, I have put up in members only status. And I'm giving early access to my commander episodes. Right now, Covert Go Commander episode two is in members only mode. It will go live probably sometime early next Remember week. How? It was this, the pack opening. Uh, the, yes, that's a Grizzle brand with an Eldrazi conscription. It happens. The, the pack opening videos are likely to stay members only. I'm not actually looking to do these for the views. I like cracking packs and building my collection. I'm not really trying to put it out there unless I'm sure I can make really good content around that, like to compete with people who have been doing it for a long time. It's not really my plan. I just wanted to come up with something to share with you guys uh, if you want to. If you want to see me building my collection by opening these collector booster boxes behind me, consider getting a member's uh, a membership. It's $4.99 a month. If you think I'm worth it, I will try to be worth it. I hope these are fun videos where we can talk about cards and you can see what's going in my collections and you get early access to the commander videos as we're getting those created. These eventually will be public, so you're not missing out on the commander for very long if you're not a member. But I wanted to get that out there. Uh, YouTube membership, link below in description. $4.99 a month gets you this and a special Discord channel and I'm going to try to make it worth it. Thank you for all the support. And on that note, let's dive in. Let the Winota nonsense begin. Ugh, mythic with creatures. Disgusting. His hand isn't disgusting, but we'll see what happens. No companion on the draw. Keeps. Savior. I wonder how our matchup with Savior and the rest of the Mono White crew is. Could you not have Luminarch Aspirant on turn two one time? Too much to ask. Too much to ask. Although, if they don't remove the Cobra, this might just be nuts. Yeah, this, this could get crazy. Alright, so play Ozolith, play Goose. Green. I guess even if they do get rid of Cobra, I can still Winota and attack with a goose. All right. This is exciting. What you gonna do, Mono White? You gonna you gonna Heliod me? Skyclave Apparition, of course, is a popular one, but that's not Skyclave Apparition. And I will protect you. Yeah. No blocks. You got me. Would you like to concede before or after this hits the battlefield? Hi. Hi there. Let's see, I'll probably hit a four drop that can take out the Bassery. So, there's one. Uh, let's attack here. We'll put a counter right here. So, Bassery's down. Here's another. Uh, that can go face. Let's put a counter on the Goose so that it has some attacking power and toughness for the future. And a Kenny. Let's attack you. How you doing? How you doing? All right. Deal me 13 this turn and you will have my respect. Easy. Pikurko, number 85. May you get run over by a bus named Winota. Okay, this one has a green source, but no Winota. Just early plays. Early plays for days. Let's give it a try. No Conclave Mentor, but if we draw one, it'll be good. This is Mono Red. Day play Mono Wed. They have a Shock. 
So do we play a goose when they have a shock? I guess we have all these other creatures too. So I guess we play the goose and get it shocked. It's just really tempting to not play it at all and hold it for the future. Try to mess their mana up. But I guess we want our Lotus Cobra to live. At least Goose leaves behind a three life package for later. They might also have Spike Field Hazard, but that's that's never it, is it? We all know better. Must beat Mono Red. Must stop drawing land. Four land enough. No more. <laughs> okay, now they have Bone Crusher Giant. Forget that. I'll just eat this food. Mr. Shock Bone Crusher. The next turn we can play two Cobras. Or, yeah, here comes Phoenix. Swarm Shambler, huh? Hmm. So I want if I get down the Shambler and the Aspirant, then if the Bone Crusher will target one of the two. And I get a free 1-1. One -one. Cheats. We still need to draw better. We're drawing too many low impact cards. Oops. I meant to put that here. Now I won't get my 1-1. One -one. Big oops is what that is. Okay. I get my 1-1 one -one anyway. They must have two Bone Crushers. A draw that would have been terrible against almost every deck I play but this one. Oh, they don't. Or maybe they're just holding on to a shock for later. Man, they are annoying. Easily the most annoying red mage of the land. What the hell was that? Just hoping to get a double block out of me, I guess. All right. So, two Cobras. I guess we want to play the Cobras, then play the Winota. We have enough life to buy some time. I could play the Winota and just try to get a hit right here, but then I've only got one non-human creature. Wait, can I play Cobra and Winota? This is one and two, three and four. Okay. I guess that's fine. Oh boy. <laughs> Hello, Mono Red. Meet Kenny. Here's Kenny. Kenny in the house. How you doing? They play a land. They play their bone crushies. Uh-huh. What else you got? Make, make it count. Okay. Luminarch Aspirant is down there. Swarm Shambler. A few goodies. But I guess that's not really what we need here. Alright, so we'll make green and white and red. The red will give everything trample and haste. The green and white will put a plus one, plus one counter on you, so the Bone Crusher can't stop it. And everybody will attack your face. Whiff! It's not supposed to happen. There we go. Alright, uh, you can has counter. You can has counter. Good game! We're just getting started. You can has counter. Let's give everything trample again. Now that we have some new people in the band. And uh, yeah, they uh, they left. They left. Out of the top 100, Mono Red. This is not your land. I love crushing Mono Red decks. Please give me more. Luris, rogues. Um, no idea. On the draw can't be good. That can't be good. Swarmy boy. Do we go there first or do we go goosey first? Hmm. I guess we can get more mana next turn if the goose lives. And we'd love to have Conclave Mentor then Shambler. 
Yeah, this is one of the plus one plus one counters games because we don't have a Winota yet. Let's see if the opponent wants to Blood Chief's Thirst or Thieves Guild Enforcer or what. Coming out thirsty. If we play the Cobra, they'll probably kill it. Wait a minute. I don't have white mana. This keeps happening. I don't know. The pathways all look alike. All right. Don't kill my Cobra, bro. The other option is we could play this Swarm Chambler now and then play the Cobra next turn. Play the land. Make the white mana. Make a play the Mentor. If the Cobra dies, we may never get to play this. So I guess this is the play. All right, we just have to hope they don't have untapped land drown in the lock. They have tapped land. And none of those were quite what we're looking for. Or I guess there was white mana there. Ugh. Ugh. Ugly. Green, make white. And mentor. And now let's see what the opponent does. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Big brain. Alright, we have to mount an offense somehow. Would, would you miss a land? Would you? Last two cards are both Drown in the Lock. No, wait. Drown in the Lock into the story. What was I thinking? But they might be tempted to use Drown on the Cobra right here. If they have it. Attack. Yeah, no blocks. It's kind of a... That's like super aggressive facing three creatures. I don't get it. Do we go for it? I mean, if they had Drown, would they use it? I think they would. We have to, have to use this white mana while we've got it. Well, <laughs> okay, frustrating, but there you go. Um, let's go ahead and activate here. Down goes Winota, maybe next turn. I hate them. I hate them so much right now, I can't even express it. No land though. Ooh, we hit land. Counter goes where? We really want the Lotus Cobra to live, so we want to discourage them from targeting it. But whatever we attack with is at risk from the Thieves Guild Enforcer. I guess it's the Mentor. We've got to get aggressive. And we get a Knight for anything that dies. They didn't draw land, so this is all spells. They take all the damage. That's fun. All right. What next? What next? Another draw two. They're making me so angry. We're gonna get milled out so badly. They can't drown it. They can Heartless Act it, but they can't drown it. They keep trying. <laughs> you better read the card. Protection from multicolor. Oh, we're lulling. Lull. Gigabrain. I have been mana screwed this whole game, and I've had enough. Screw this game. I'm starting to believe that all the angry people in Magic just play too much aggro. Because you literally have no say in what you do. You 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 just have no say, right? Like these hands can't keep them. The plays, there's nothing you can do. Like you either win by rolling the opponent completely, in which case you have the bare minimum of fun. You feel like a god for two minutes, or <clears throat> you do absolutely nothing, nothing at all. So that's my theory on why there are salty magic players in the universe. Do you like it? Is it a good theory? What do you think? <sighs> it's 
It's a good draw. I'll take that. All right, goose. We'll play red, hide the white, let the opponent think I'm weirdo gruel. <clears throat> See if they have glass casket ready to go. And if so, will they tag the stone coil? If we draw a land next turn, we can play the lieutenant. If we don't draw a land, we'll play the Winota. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> it's looking Winota-ish. Skyclave Apparition is, of course, a terrifying card. But we'll do what we gotta do. Try to get way ahead on the board. Yay, we hit something. I was getting scared. Not the best hit I've ever had. But at least we hit something. Okay, Casket does not touch Winota, and the Goose still activates Winota, so this is all good. Have a Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Winota's the obvious Lightning Rod, so let's put counters in other places. Decline! Not a good reveal. Not a good reveal at all, actually. Alright, Shatter the Sky, maybe? It would leave us with two knights and draw us a card. Which would be nice, but one of our Winotas just got put on the bottom of the library. Scrybug dictates that we must draw it again. That, that, that's not it. <laughs> no, they do have another casket. This one for the goose, that shuts down Winota's ability. Because these are all humans. Let's get a counter on... I think Elspeth Conqueror's Death is going to hit this, so let's get a counter here. Keep wrecking. Now, because we have Sweeper Protection in the Lieutenant, we just want to play out our threats. The opponent has to remove the Winota or the Batsis. So, yeah. Uh, and I think they've really got to remove this, right? Dream Trawler can't even block this. The wall is thinking. The wall has a mind. That's crazy. Honk, honk. Hasn't been the greatest Winota hits. Should still be enough to beat up this beautiful blue-white control deck who I am sadly paired against. I, I hate to kill a Sky Noodle. Such a beautiful thing. So majestic. Jeskai? And it is Dream Trawler. Okay. Protection from multicolor, protection from multicolor. I need one more point of damage. That's not it. Wait, it is. It is it. All right, so play this. Double up counters from the Aspirant and make sure we don't attack with the wrong things and we win because protection from multicolored, protection from multicolored. Aya. And that has protection from multicolor, so why not? You shall not block. <laughs> we try and uh, we no no that that's not gonna work. Oh, oh, oh! Give him a, give him the purple love. The emoji communication. Oh, they're nice. Okay, I was going to dab on you, but now I won't. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> Evil. The title is pure clickbait. Zero Ozoliths so far. Absolute zero. 
My deck is a lie. Well, on the draw. Can we stop with the on the draw crap? Um, but we'll keep it, and we got to draw Winota. If we draw Winota or maybe Mentor, we have enough pressure to do something. If we don't, we just do nothing. The do nothing part of the aggro deck. Lieutenant. All right. Green make green so that I can goose and shambler. And come on. Come on, Winota. Come on, Winota off the top one time. Let's go. Birth. Let, come on, Winota. Come on, Winota. Where you at, dog? Ah, these will have to do. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not Winota. Let's get a counter on the Cobra. I think the Cobra is what they're going to exile. Oh, we want a four power creature for Wrath, right? Yeah, for, yeah, we want a four power creature for the Wrath. Ooh, by Yorian, that's not Wrath. Do we continue the fun? I think we do. <laughs> Goosey attacks? Too cheeky. <laughs> Alright. I mean, what are they going to do? If they wrath the board, I make six knights? Uh, oh, that... Mm. Alright, but they're still at 14. I just don't know where... Like, what? how does a comeback start? A Skyclave Apparition? Exile one of these? Maybe? Black. Ooh, extinction events on, on... Oh, oh no. They might be able to extinction event. Oh, ho, ho, that would hurt. Elspeth's Nightmare. That's a start. Down goes a Cobra. That's a lot of mana. I guess we... Can we play Gigantha with this? It's close. Yeah, we can play Gigantha this turn. And we want to. We want to. Because Extinction Event needs protection. Alright, my my plan is on the battlefield. My plan is on the battlefield. What can you do about it? Scoop them up! That's what you can do about it. Good lord, I did all of my quests in like 20 minutes. I still have more video to do. I, I, I had two 750 attack with various things quests that the Shark Typhoon decks just weren't, weren't handling. Can I go first? Come on now. This is such a, this is such a plot against me. I don't even, I don't even know how to say it. A shamble. Try to cut this speaker off from the first attack, but they always have the aspirant, right? Oh! Or another way to pump it. It's just what they're into. Now what? Let's play the Ozolith and the other shambler, right? Then we can double block. We don't want to double block, though. Hmm. We could just play two creatures. Well, let's do this. Do this, let's do this, and see what they do with their all that glitters next. It does make them want to trade less, but ugh! Oh my goodness. Ugh. Alright, they're at 25. They're at 20 frickin' 5. 
Let's slow roll the white mana. So this is colorless. <clears throat> Their bounty, the bounty would be awkward because they can't give protection from colorless. And we have the Ozolith. So we would get the counters back. Can we stop them from attacking? Oh, pay three. Pay three. That's a big deal. That's that's not good. But it's okay. It's okay. Really? I mean, this block takes this down to a two, but no. We want the Winota to trigger. We're gonna have a nice attack. Here's white. By the way, nice hand. <laughs> Shuffler's fine. It's fine. Yep, three more life for you. Good job. Yep, that works. At least you have to take four. Heliod! Ugh. This game has been a train wreck throughout. Let's see, if they have to sacrifice this, I don't lose the Winota. So they sacrifice bounty, they give protection from red, but this goes down to a 3-3. Three, three. They do get angel time. Yippee. I'm sure they feel Giga Brain. Alright. Can't lose this. And I guess the Winota at a five is a thing, but they just block it with the Heliod, so it's not good. So we just pump this up and try to hit something nice. Okay, something nice. <clears throat> Not going well. Not good. Can I go first? Deck? That's all I needed. That's the only difference in that game. Um, Do we have all our colors? We don't have green. And I go first. What a cruel trap. All right. The Ozolith. <laughs> Easy bottom, I think. At least everything else is pretty good. Lovey dovey. What you got? All right, it's not a bone crusher giant. This is this game is off to a start. No blocks. We are flooding, though. We are flooding quickly, but we are one good top deck away from real happiness. Had a feeling they'd take it. Valuing the ooze in that spot is pretty common. Love Struck comes down. We don't really want to trade, and we definitely don't want to trade our Spiron. Oh, hello. We don't want to trade our Spiron. We 
If they block with the love struck, they can grow their ooze, which might be enticing. Yeah. But we get their love struck off the field, so they can't great henge, so that's fine. Valley tapped. They must have another creature to play then. But they play nothing, so they have a Bone Crusher Giant. So since they have a Bone Crusher Giant, we don't target either Mentor. We target the Luminarch itself. Interesting that they let that resolve. Send the 6-6. Six, six. Uh-huh. Maybe it's Scorching Dragonfire plus Scavenging Ooze Block. No? Now I'm just confused by what they're doing. Just growing their ooze. Don't mind me, just over here growing my ooze. Ouch. How aggressive are you? Just that, okay? Another land. What is going on? All right, Gigantha. We're just gonna trade the Gigantha for the beast probably, so let's start growing the mentors. Yeah, no interesting cards in that graveyard for the ooze anymore. What is this, Embercleave? Embercleave is a nightmare. Embercleave is the GG, unless we draw really well. Nothing. I mean, they could flash it in, but they would have attacked. All right, well, Kenny is here. Let's go, buddy. So, we can give Trample. We can also distribute more counters. Let's just get them. Let's get them. It's a big boy. So we can put another counter here, make that a five, unless they have a Bone Crusher Giant, in which case it's a big blowout if we try to put a counter here. But they're at nine. Let's go for it. We can give everything Trample, too. There's the Cleave. Their slow rolling of it might cost them. So they get to kill the Gigantha. But then they're taking how much? Oh, oh, this five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's not quite enough, is it? It's not quite enough. So we'll do this. Leaves them with just a cleaving questing beast. I can't believe they didn't attack though and play it. They really decided to ambush Cleave me. I can't believe they didn't get the aggression in last turn. If they had, I think they'd be threatening... They'd almost be threatening lethal here. They just need one point. Yeah, I, I can't believe they went for ambush cleave. It's the most obvious thing. Yeah, no blocks. Take ten. Can you Can you finish the job? What are these cards? Do they do anything? Do something. Come on, Rex. Make the play. Save the day. Innkeeper. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. 
order. How could you mess up the order? Go block the Kenrith, right? So everything gains the hasties and the tramples. Let's rumble. Good game indeed. I mean, this was kind of a fun aggro v aggro, to be honest. I had more fun with this game than I've had with a lot of the other matchups with a, the, a lot of the games today. It, it at least was exciting. Like, I wasn't sure what was going to happen next. But that's game. My goodness, how many games do I have to play to get a video of footage out of a deck? I'm used to two. Two or three, and... I'm just in them in the moment, navigating my Yorian, and then I'm out. And now here we are against Scrying Paragon. On the on the draw? Okay. Okay. I think the more colors in your deck, the less likely you are to be on the play. That's my that's my new theory. We're gonna we're gonna shout it from the rooftops. And that's just the way it is. The more colors in your deck, the less likely you are to be on the play. Turn one castle. Interesting. Ooh, I got a phone call. Guys, this is my new pixel for A. It is it is specifically designed, my friends, for for me to make content playing MTG Arena on mobile, which is coming on the 28th of January, so get excited. I could have tried to set up the Winota next turn. I'm going with the Luminarch instead because sizing matters so much against Mono White. That's what we've learned so far. By the way, the castle's getting in the way here. That's why I cut all but one of them from my Mono White deck. And they took out the Aspirant, so we got a Skyclave Apparition out of them. I was really hoping to draw a curve filler right there, and we failed to do it. That upsets me. I guess we offer the trade because if the opponent does block this, and even if they use the or no, they can like block Savior Indestructible. Oh, this is a bad this is a bad attack. Uh, they might not block anyway. Okay, they could have blocked with Skyclave and used the Savior. I forgot about that. I was thinking if the Skyclave dies, I get the Illusion, which triggers the Winota anyway. If they hold up mana here, they probably have Giant Killer. Casket. Okay. Well, I'm annoyed. But at least they attacked with the Apparition, and they're not going to be able to block and kill the Serpent. Let's go. The mono white decks don't have a ton of counterplay to Winota, so if you get on the play, you get a good hand, you get a good curve, they're in trouble. But if they get their, you know, flawless speaker draw on the play, you can't really win. All right, take out Winota with a Skyclave because why wouldn't they have multiples? It's all part, of the, all part of the way it goes. So do we set up for the next Winota? I think so. I don't really want to... I guess if I trade... No, I don't want to trade with the Savior, though. So let's play you. Actually... Hmm. We're at 12? They get a giant killer. I'm going to I'm going to be really burned by this. But let's make this a 4/4. Four four. The protection from multicolor isn't much, is it? Not against this deck. But now we have three triggers for Winota. And if the opponent has another removal spell, they better play it. Okay, they've got a Heliod. Oh no. That's a tough one. 
but they know attacks. It's like they knew I was coming. But with a Conclave Mentor and a Winota, I think we're just fine. Where does the where do the counters go? We want to make something hard to kill, and we need to attack with the Mentor. So let's put them on the Mentor. Also, we gain life when this dies. This can't be blocked. And we're hoping to hit some lieutenants and make the Mentor and the Stone Cola even bigger. Cool. Not it. No lieutenants. No lieutenants in the top 18 cards. Life is hard. Okay. Well, on the bright side... Oh, they're going to use the saviors. Never mind. I don't get to keep my mentor, do I? Um, yeah, they need to use their saviors so that the Heliod stays turned on. All right, minus two creatures. What a what a scam we just walked into. What a Winota scam. If they top deck removal for the Winota, I'm going to cry. Okay. We're definitely still in this. I shouldn't be complaining too much. Yep, they say go. Oh! Oh, who dis? Who dis? Okay. <laughs> Found the lieutenant. One more card down. And we are back for the post-game wrap. And wow. Um, kind of a... Kind of a kind of a salty video, I'd say. I'm not really thrilled with myself. I tried to keep it lightly salty, lightly salted, but man, I forgot how annoying it is to play kind of one-note aggro. I, this one in particular is a big offender. Of course, it doesn't have any removal. Of course, it doesn't have a lot of counterplay. It really is like, here's some creatures. The biggest decisions you make are what mana to hold open when you play Kenrith and where to put your plus one, plus one counters. There are some sequencing things, but for the most part, you feel helpless if your opponent has a good draw on the play and you feel like they are helpless and you are the king of the world when you have a good draw on the play. So for me, it took some getting used to. I'm used to some back and forth in my games after Shark Week and a half. And this was a lot different, but hopefully still fun content. And if I'm going to put plus one, plus one counters on things, I'm going to do it with the backup of Winota Joiner of Forces. Remember the notes from the intro. You can cut these pathways. Uh, I would also try it without, maybe without Gilded Goose or Cobra, or maybe just trimming them down and trying to run more plus one, plus one counter synergy. That's worth a try. If you want to try it, maybe. I don't know. But that's that. those are the suggestions. Those are the ideas. This is the pile. It's Winota. Winota's fun. So before I completely move into the outro, reminder to subscribe to Twitch Prime, Prime Gaming, link below. Go ahead and hit renew. There's also a link to a video by another YouTuber who shows you exactly how to link up your accounts. Might help you out if you're if you know you have Amazon Prime in your household but can't figure out that confounded Twitch nonsense, maybe it will give you a hand. And then on the other side of that, YouTube membership, if you want access to some pack opening videos that are members only, and if you would like to, um, if you would like the early access to the Commander videos, consider getting a YouTube membership. And on that note, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool.